Hi everyone, Miss Tui here. What's in a shape? Area is the space inside a shape. Ozobot is going to help you explore area by creating and playing with rectangles. For today's lesson, you will need an Ozobot fully charged and calibrated, color code markers, a pencil, and both pages of your Area with Ozobot activity sheets. In today's lesson, you will use lines and color codes to program your bot to randomly choose numbers for length and width of a rectangle. You will use the numbers chosen for the length and the width to draw a rectangle on grid paper. You'll find the area of the rectangle by counting the total number of units and multiplying the length by the width. You'll also program your bot with colored lines to show the number of units on each side of the rectangle. Let's take a minute to talk about geometry or math about shapes and figures. 2D shapes are shapes that are flat with two dimensions, length and width. Some examples of 2D shapes include circles, rectangles, triangles, squares, parallelograms, pentagons, hexagons, and octagons. The space inside a 2D shape is called area. The space is divided into smaller squares or units. Different math processes are used to find the area of different shapes. Today, you will use rectangles to help you understand area. You will find the area of a rectangle by adding up all of the units inside the shape or by multiplying the length by the width. To begin, you will need the area with Ozobot and your color code markers. There are two different maps for your bot to follow. The first map is for your bot to randomly choose a number from five to nine for the length of the rectangle. The second map is for your bot to randomly choose a number from one to five for the width of the rectangle. The numbers the bot can choose for the length are greater than the numbers it can choose for the width because the length is always the longest side of the shape. You will use your color code markers to complete the pathways for each map and the color codes key to program your bot's speed. I am going to add the color codes into my maps. I will use the fast code after the start on my first map and the turbo code after the start on my second map. Now I am going to use a color to fill in the rectangle at the end of each line. I will use a different color for each rectangle. You can use different colors too, or the same color for all. The top LED light on the bot will display the same color as the lined end next to the number chosen. Finally, I will trace the rest of the lines on each map with my black marker. Now it's your turn to complete the maps. Can you choose two different codes from the color codes key and add them into the boxes after each start? Then use color to fill in the rectangle at the end of each line. Trace the rest of the lines on each map with black marker. Next, get your bot in the area with Ozobot activity sheet. You will run your bot on both maps and write the numbers your bot chooses on the lines labeled length and width for number one. Let's watch my bot in action. My bot chose the number nine for the length of my first rectangle. My bot chose the number five for the width of my first rectangle. I wrote number nine for the length and the number five for the width on my activity sheet for number one. I wonder what numbers your bot will randomly choose. Can you run your bot on both maps and write the numbers your bot chose on the lines labeled length and width for number one? Now that you know the size of the rectangle you are going to draw, you will need your pencil. 
You will draw a rectangle to show the length and the width your bot chose on the grid on your activity sheet. My bot chose the numbers nine and five. I am going to leave room on my grid paper for two more rectangles, so I will not draw my first rectangle in the middle of the grid. Here is my rectangle with a length of nine units and a width of five units. I drew my rectangle horizontal because the length is left and right. It doesn't matter which way you choose to draw your rectangle. Can you draw a rectangle on your grid paper using the number of units for the length and the width your bot chose? After your rectangle is drawn, you will find the area or the amount of space inside. One way to find the area of a rectangle is to add 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 until the total number of units inside the shape have been counted. Let's count the units in my rectangle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. My rectangle has a total of 45 units. I'm going to record the total number of units from my first rectangle at the bottom of my sheet on the line to complete the math statement. Area equals 45 units. What is the area of your rectangle? Can you count the total number of units inside your rectangle? Then write the number to tell the area in units. Another way to find the area of a rectangle is by multiplying. Since multiplication is repeated addition, you can find the area of the rectangle by multiplying the length by the width. The length of my rectangle is nine and the width is five. Nine times five equals 45. I will write this product to complete the statement length times width equals 45 to show how I multiplied to find the area on my activity sheet. Your product should be the same as the total number of units. If your product and your total are not equal, you need to recount the units or check your multiplication. Can you multiply the length and the width to find the area of your rectangle? Is your product the same as your total? Time to use your color code markers again. You are going to use your markers to color the sides of your rectangle to show the number of units for the length and for the width. You will use two different colors to trace the lines for the length in an AB pattern and two different colors for the width in an AB pattern so that your bot can use its LED lights to display each unit. I will use the colors red and blue to show the length of my rectangle. I will use the colors green and red to show the width of my rectangle. Here is my rectangle with the alternating colored lines or AB patterns. What two colors will you choose for your length? What two colors will you choose for your width? Can you use your color code markers to show the number of units for the length and the width of your rectangle? Remember to use two different colors so that your bot will show the exact number of units. You are ready to get your bot out again. You will put your bot on one of the sides of your rectangle and watch as it uses its color sensor and LED lights to count the length and the width as it moves around the shape. Let's watch my bot in action. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five. Nine units for the length, five units for the width.
Can you put your ball on your rectangle and count the LED light changes for the length and the width? Now that you know how to complete the activity, you will repeat the following steps to draw and find the area of two more rectangles. One, run your bot on both maps. Two, write the numbers your bot chose for the length and the width. Three, draw a rectangle on the grid paper using the numbers for length and width. Four, find the area of the rectangle by counting the total number of units. Five, Find the area of the rectangle by multiplying the length by the width. Six, trace the lines of your rectangle with different colors to show the units on each side. Seven, run your bot on your rectangle. If you need to, you can replay the video to follow the steps again for your second rectangle. Can you follow the steps to complete the activity by drawing two more rectangles using the numbers your bot chooses and finding the area of each? Remember to check your work. Each map should have a color code to program the speed of your bot, a colored rectangle at the end of each line. Your activity sheet should have three drawn rectangles, the length and the width written for each rectangle, the total number of units written for each rectangle, the area written for each rectangle by showing the product of the length times the width. Your work should show how Ozobot randomly selects the length and width, how the area of the rectangle can be found by adding or multiplying, and how Ozobot uses its color sensor and LED light to count the number of units for the length and the width. Looking for more? Compare and contrast the three different rectangles. Think about the different sized rectangles. What objects in real life could your rectangles represent? Why might you want to know the area of these objects? Find the perimeter of each rectangle. Come back again soon for our next lesson.